Hello everyone and welcome back to LFA N Scale and today we have a couple small additions to the layout. I spent most of my weekend doing this Walther's Water Street Freight Terminal, getting this painted and together. And I have gone literally almost cross-eyed doing so as there are very small parts involved, especially these little roof caps and stuff like that. A lot of small parts you gotta detail up and paint, but otherwise I think it turned out okay. Again, I'm not a professional modeler, so I'm sure some of you could do better, but this is the go I had at it. So let me do a little pan to show you the freight terminal. Really cool addition to my layout. Add some uh, dimension and something larger in the background here of the layout. Let's go over to this side. So there is the Walther's Water Street Freight Terminal. Here is the box. So again, I spent most of my weekend, yeah, I spent a lot of yesterday just painting parts on the sprues and Sorry to remove and number some parts from the sprues. And today was when the real construction of this kit happened. So there's a couple details I still have on sprues. Like they did provide a couple uh, freight details for the deck here. Like some barrels and pallets and so on. So there's that. And then I also added a lit flashing beacon water tower that I got from my local train store for $8.88. They typically, you know, they, they take in collections and this was a, a structure item that they had for sale there. So pretty good score for under $9 on the, and I'm powering this with uh, another 9 volt switch battery box. So I want everything on this layout. I know you know, we have a few 9-volt battery box things like my uh, my railroad crossing signals are all 9-volt battery box situations. But that's going to be pretty much it for the 9-volt battery boxes. Otherwise, I do have a lot of Woodland Scenics just plug lighting system items I have to get on the layout to light all the buildings and do all the street lights and stuff like that. So anyways, it's not much for this weekend, but it's what I could crank out in about a day and a half was this structure and get this light tower on here and wire it up. Alright guys, stay tuned this Wednesday. Probably more is going to be coming up. Thanks for watching.